Um, Minister Covey, I want to welcome you to the Chamber for what was introduced as a most important matter, so much so that the government benches are almost empty. Indeed, one could say that this is parliamentary party business masquerading as parliamentary business. I thank Siobhan and all the staff in the Passport Office and recognise the incredible pressure they are working under. A number of the Senators here have mentioned the relaxation of the checks and balances in relation to child children's passports, particularly first time. I would not recommend any easing up on those restrictions. Um, we are clearly uh, protecting our children in this country is really, really important. The last thing we want to see is where there is difficulties within marriages or breakups that we would have our children abducted. And that's the last thing we would like to see. Ministers, for two years we've had very limited travel, so it doesn't take a rocket scientist to prepare for what is coming in the next six months. But Chairman, this motion is a waste of, 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 our, of, your, of the Minister's time. It's clearly an echo chamber for this government on an issue that has already been well trashed out on Morning Ireland. Indeed, I would have understood a motion by your Fine Gael colleagues on the vulnerability of our nation, on defending our skies or our water spaces, or indeed time in this House to discuss the champagne jolly in your department while loved ones couldn't say goodbye to those dying in our hospitals. I would have liked your Fine Gael colleagues to bring in the Minister for Health on children with spina bifida or children with scoliosis awaiting surgery, or indeed the Minister for Housing to come in as the homeless are still dying on our streets. Minister Malcolm Byrne, uh, has spoken about the digitalisation of our data as regards passports. My question to you is, will or could the data that was obtained by the Department of Health be used by your department into the future? Clearly the EU COVID uh, digital pass is still in operation, so um, I want to know what role will you, your department have in that going forward, and I look forward to your comprehensive response on that issue. Thank you.